Okay, Boni, I'm beginning to understand a lot about, you know, I'm a recipient. I'm the kind of people who you're doing this for us to see. So I've seen the vulture um, conversation. I've seen the pig, the pig one, and pigs, and pigs, she me. I won't lie to you. And, and, yeah. and I liked them pigs, to be honest, because I was like, what the heck are these guys doing? These are the guys who've just been voted in. They're already trying to raise chums. Mm. In fact, I say MPs are the worst of the crop. Kenyans as a whole, we are we have we have issues. We are corrupt, uh, just at our at our at our small scale or at our, the scale that we're allowed. The MPs are the best of the best who've made it through. You mm. get. Um, so I didn't know about the one which wasn't. You guys were going for parliament. In the, fact, I'm just like yo. The the, the, the takeover for parliament was it was well planned. We even had a song. We had planned everything, man, to the last detail. And all it took for them to stop us was release a statement that morning that you're planning to overthrow the government. And they released it to who? To the media. And they what? said they're going to summon the US ambassador for funding us to overthrow the government. You should look it up. They said you have been fine to overthrow the government by the US government. Oh, so this is all nice part of the propaganda. Bro. It was so well done. I've got to give them credit. Yeah, it was. Uh, so they say the US government is funding activists to destabilize and overthrow the government. <laughs> There's even a statement by Francis Kimemia, who is the Nyandaro governor right now. You should read it. It's online. Okay. Bonin, <laughs> that statement mm. must have... Did they mention your name? Yes. Oh, my they say God. Bo, they say Bonnie M, John G, and a retired cleric. Read the statement. Make sure that you show the audience what the statement shows. Okay. Yeah. So, so... Let me now ask. That must completely change your life. It, it, the access... Now, that's cancelled. So that over, you know, that threw me off balance. And now that is the year now, that is the year uh, 2014. We started thinking differently, me and a couple of friends. We said, now these guys, if we can't overthrow parliament that way and get them to hear our demands, what if we register a political party? Ukweli party. That's where we began to turn into Ukweli party. <laughs> <laughs> So 2014, we leave the space and organized to do Kweli Party. Mm -hmm. And so 2014, after that particular incident, uh, we there was no like no other protest. We just chilled. You realize you can't overthrow these guys from the So out. let's let's form a political party. So underground, we looked for fronts, friends, said because if you put our names, they don't register the party. Go register. It took us three years to get the party registered. Then 2015. Uh, January is when we reclaimed Lang Langata Primary School. Oh, yes. that was a big one. Yeah. No, we can't skip over that one. So Langata Primary School. Because that's where you publicly began uh, your disagreements with the DP. No, no, I've never been in agreement with the DP. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, no. I've never been in agreement with this government ever. And the only time I thought the government had done something in Safari Rally, but they messed our transport for everyone, that the country was paralyzed. <laughs> However, <laughs> so, 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 so 2015 actually is an interesting year. Uh -huh. I remember 2015 you came back to me. So, remember? Yeah. We the ones who helped you because uh, you were doing your book, which we're going to come to. No, I did the book 2016. Okay, the 2016 is when we vibe. So 2015 is when we decide to. So I'm chilling, man. So. 2014 now, after that statement and everything, I lost business. So I'm no longer... So 2013, 2014... Uh, <laughs> so uh, 2014, 2015 is now when the demonization... No, 2013, 2014 is the demonization of civil society and active citizens. Very much demonization. Come 2015, I... I what happens? We did the Langata Primary School thing, mm. and guess what happens? Itumbi and his brigade accuse me and other people of tear gassing kids. They, they, what do you mean? They even did a video. To it's online. They activist tear gas primary school kids. You were blamed for the tear gas before the story became an international shame, and they considered to apologize. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, how did you find out about the school about to happen? I was called by a guy called Michael Orua and then uh, Irongo Hutton. Uh, so they came to power and said, what can we do? And said, what you need to do is going to do Occupy Playground. You see, we're done the Occupy mm. Parliament, Occupy Playground. So they're going to go there to play soccer with the kids. 
So he planned to go to, I called the area MP, he didn't respond. Uh, Kenokoth responded, so he said, you're going to go there. On that particular day, when he came in the morning, we found many police officers. But we never thought they're going to do anything. So during break time, the kids left their classrooms and said, you're going to our playground. So they came out of the school and then they were going to the gate. Then the police threw tear gas. So some kids were injured, some fell in the ditch. Then we people were chased away, then we went back to the school. And the kids, and then Kenokoth came with a group of guys and we were able to bring down the wall. And when the wall came down, that one action by Langada Primary School kids has led to over 5,000 schools in this country to have a title deeds. Like schools, from that, mm. it became an avalanche or like, like many kids and many parents said, you know what, we can reclaim our playgrounds. To, to, it led to a presidential directive that all schools should have a title deed. So, Langata, Before that, they didn't. Schools didn't have title deeds. Langada Primary School gave many, like I think so far it's about 8,000 schools have title deeds because of one action in Langata Primary School. Ah oh, man, it's so good to hear about the change that comes out of this. And and they didn't take the playground, did they? No, if you go today, I, me and my son always look at that. This playground belongs to Langata. <laughs> no, this, this land belongs to Langata Primary School uh, and Langata Road Primary School. Yeah, Yo. I, that sign makes me happy. Every time I on Langata Road, and I live on Langata Road. Every yes. time I see that sign, I'm like, yeah. So you, you, the winds must be good. I am proud, yes. The winds must make you, the, they the, must fuel you and be like, the, I'm not doing this in vain. Because Bonnie, your stories just sound like. It. The, the winds, and, and in between actually, and even when you do protests, because you do like one or two protests in a year. But in between, we're training activists at power, we're training photographers, we're training journalists. All the guys you're mentioning, like in a, the, the, most of the guys have been mentored or a product of that space. Mwangi Kirubi won his first photography award from from uh, photography. Moav. Moav. You know, I've had Moav on this show. Yeah. Photo Amazing. Yeah. Photography Awards of Kenya awarded um, Moav, awarded Mutuama Deka. The guys the world is celebrating now in photography were actually awarded and given money by power. I used to go and raise money and come and give uh, photographers 100,000 as prize money. Like the photography awards of 2014, we gave away about three million shillings. This mm. is money we raised. Those are the days I would have an event and I invite every ambassador and every top name in this country and they show up. Photography awards, we have mm. Chief Justice William Tunga, you have the American ambassador, you have the Swiss ambassador, you have the Norwegian ambassador, you have all these ambassadors coming for the awards for photography. Because there is what Kenyans see, Kenyans see one single protest. But in between, they do many other things. Mm, we are mentoring mm. a Sarabi band and give them money to go and perform. Yes. We are giving money for people to go and buy, to do books. And where are you getting to, the to money do music from? Videos. Now, we are, now we are getting partners to work with us to do creative industry. I get it. I yes. get it. So we are mentoring these many young people. And guess what? When Garissa massacre happened, mm. and the president was in Dubai, uh, with the Ule Sod Bay, Sod Bay, and doing selfies. We, the government refused to talk about the victims. We organized a Garissa a concert. Me Memorial Concert. concert. I remember that. And I want to say shout out to Larry Mado mm. for getting us like NTV to do outside broadcasting for, broadcasting for free. And because of NTV doing that, all media sites came to do live broadcast of the Memorial Concert for for the victims. And every single artist who performed, they came for free. Mm, I remember like that. Artists, all of them came for free. Power, we're doing power festival, we're doing street, street festivals in this country. Uh, when a Ladi attack happened in Somalia, we did a memorial for the soldiers who were, who were killed mm. at Freedom Corner, a beautiful memorial. So in between, when you're talking about a protest, we're doing- There's so much other awareness that you're yeah, bringing. we're doing for border, border rights. We are doing uh, citizen journalism in the community, South Yamta. We are bailing out artists who have been arrested. Those harassment of people, like at the band, were arrested and forced to swim in the mud. And we go there and bail them out. So we're doing many other things. So when people see, you see a protest, like one protest, but there are many other small things mm. happening. The protest is the public. Like, you have yeah. no idea what's happening in private. Like now even as I speak to you and you go to part for which I found it, you go and see the handle. They are doing many other things even after I left. There's so much impact in the community than just what you see a protest.
mm. but it's a byproduct of many other things. I get. Yeah. Let me ask you: Is it the president who came? Is it John Biden? Was it Hillary Clinton? John Kerry. Uh, John Kerry. So John Kerry came to power. Uh -huh. You see what we're doing. I hosted. Uh, what's the name of the lady who? Shali Sandberg, who's mm. a Facebook C CEO. We hosted. Um, what's the name of this guy for? For Google, uh, Schmidt. Mm. Eric Schmidt came to power with John Musheru. Actually, me and John Musheru were in the same and enough class. <laughs> yeah. Actually, me even till to date, me and John Musheru in the same prayer group. <laughs> True story. We were in the same WhatsApp group. You just, because just now you go check, you'll just see John JM left. <laughs> no, he wouldn't leave. I meet him and say hi. We have our disagreements because we met in a prayer community. And so, and it's interesting. And you know, what Kenyans need to understand actually, they mistake truth for hate. When you say this, there's a problem here, they say, no, it's not the truth, it's hate. Mm. Why do you think it's hate? Why you not being sincere and honest with yourself? And that's the problem. So people mistake truth for hate. Okay. And that now, so it becomes a struggle that they can't hear you because they think you're hating. You're not hating, you're just saying the truth. Okay. Um, let's talk about Ukweli party. So you form this and you decide. We're going to vie. Mm. So, so 2015, we struggled to have the party registered. We got our party certificate in Feb 2017. But you weren't named in, in, in no, the process? No, we had changed the officials last minute. No, it was, I was never in the documents. It was just my friends. And we got problems from NIS. That's the National Intelligence Service. We got problems from the Registrar of Political Parties. We went to the political tribunal three times. And this party, just me and another person who I won't name, who are funding just to get the party registered. And right now, that person helps a lot in helping the party stay awake because we don't have money. So we raised the political party. So 2015 is when those things happen. And then 2015 is actually the year that things, when did I publish the book? 2016, right? Mm. So 2016, I, you know, so I used to get a lot of threats, on and off, on and off. But 2015 is when now me and Ruto went to head to head, mm. the deputy president. 